If you use a Chromium-based browser like Google Chrome, Vivaldi, Microsoft Edge, Opera, or the Brave browser, Chrome extensions are a great way to enhance your browsing experience. In this video, I'll show you 10 useful Chrome extensions that can help to improve the functionality of your browser. Coming up next on Tech Gumbo. Awesome Screenshot and Screen Recorder lets you capture any part of your screen to take a screenshot. And it also includes a built-in screen recorder to capture both the video and audio with microphone support to record your voice. To use this extension on any website, click their icon to the right of the address bar. There are two tabs, one to capture and the other to record. While their screen recorder is good, there are free programs available that will give you better results like OBS Studio. So let's go back to capture. You have three choices to take a screenshot, the visible part only, an entire web page, or a selected area. When you hover over each option, you can see the keyboard shortcuts to eliminate the need to click their icon each time you need to take a screenshot. Near the bottom of this window, you have the choice to save it to the cloud or locally. I prefer local for added flexibility. For this one, we'll go with selected area. Then just click and drag the area you'd like to capture. When done, you have the choice to copy that image to your clipboard, to paste it wherever you want, cancel, or click on capture for additional options. This will open up a new tab with annotation tools at the top to mark up your image. And when you're finished with that, click on done. You now have the choice to download that image to your computer, save it as a PDF, print it out, along with cloud-based sharing and storage options. Keepa is a cool extension that lets you take a look at the price history charts of any item you'd like to purchase to ensure that you're getting a good deal. Supported in numerous countries, you can also set up alerts to get notified if the price of that item ever drops. For this example, we'll take a look at the price history chart of this PC memory product. There's no icon that you need to click. Keepa loads up on the page itself. Scroll down the page below the description to see the price history chart. As many of you know, the price of memory has been volatile the last few years. Just a few months ago, the price of this item was around $170, and at the time of this recording, the price has dropped quite a bit to around $125. Hovering your mouse here on the right, you can filter by several categories, including sold and shipped by Amazon, new and used. In the tab here to the right of price history, called track product, when you enter your desired price into any of the fields, Keepa will notify you if that item drops below that price. Homey is one of many extensions available that will let you change the look of your start page. It includes live wallpapers, a bookmarks manager, and widgets for the weather, personal notes, and other stuff that can be customized to increase your productivity. As you can see, it's uncluttered with the live wallpaper in the background that changes each day. Along the left is the time, date, weather, and an inspirational quote. At the top is the search bar of your choosing with your bookmarks below that. Privacy Badger is the first of two extensions from the folks over at the Electronic Frontier Foundation, which is a nonprofit group that helps to protect civil liberties on the internet. Privacy Badger itself automatically blocks trackers and cookies that follow you across multiple websites without your permission. To find out what is being blocked on any website, click the Privacy Badger icon here in the upper right. On most websites that don't value your privacy like this one, for example, you'll see it's blocking a lot. When the slider is red, it means the content has been completely blocked. If it's yellow, it's blocking cookies only, but allowing other content through so the website can function properly. And if it's green, it's allowing all content from that particular domain. Let's switch this one back to red, so it's blocking everything entirely. You can adjust the sliders as needed. For example, if I wanted all content from Facebook blocked, I would just click in the slider area to the far left. And if I were crazy and didn't care about privacy, I would click in the area to the far right to allow all content. This will be a quick one. HTTPS Everywhere is another extension from the Electronic Frontier Foundation that should be installed on every browser. It simply switches thousands of sites from insecure HTTP to secure HTTPS to ensure you're visiting a secure version of that site. For this one, just install it, leave it turned on, and there's nothing more you need to do. If you're someone that reads a lot on the internet, Just Read is a must-have for browsers that don't have a proper reading mode. It eliminates junk like ads, pop-ups, and other distractions to give you a more enjoyable reading experience. 
On this website, you can see there's a lot going on here that might distract you. To just read the article and see nothing else, click the Just Read icon here in the upper right. There are some handy tools here for you to use. Here in the upper right, selecting Start and Deletion Mode lets you easily remove any content on the page by left-clicking on it. To the right of that, you can change your theme and edit the font size. Let's switch this to a dark mode. That looks quite a bit better. To support the development, Just Read offers a premium plan for just a dollar per month with additional features. Wordtune is an artificial intelligence powered writing tool that suggests ways to make your writing clearer and more compelling. It's compatible with several platforms including Gmail, Google Docs, Facebook, the web versions of Outlook and WhatsApp, and a whole lot more. Here's how it works. After writing any phrase, highlight the entire phrase and select the Wordtune icon. It will now offer you several alternatives. To change to any of the other phrases that are suggested, click on the phrase. Hunter is a useful extension that lets you find out who to contact at a company when you visit their website with just one click. If available, you can find out their name, email address, job title, social networks, and phone number. On just about any website to get the contact information, click the Hunter icon in the upper right. To find a specific department, click the three dot button. Hunter is free for up to 25 searches per month with plans that start at $49 per month. If you've ever wanted to find and download all images on any web page, ImageEye is the extension for you. It's simple to use with filters to narrow down your selection and allows for bulk downloading of all images at once. To see all the images available on a web page, click the ImageEye icon. There's quite a few available. It says that there are more than 841 images. Selecting the filter icon here on the right lets you narrow down your search by width and height by adjusting the sliders. To bulk download every single image listed, click Select All. Or to download an image individually, click the Download button for that image. Fonts Ninja is great for creators to identify fonts from any website. This extension can be very helpful to discover new fonts that you might not be aware of for a future project to make it stand out. Clicking on their icon will show you the fonts used on that page. There's only one being used here. It's Proxima Nova. Moving your cursor over any word will show you the pixel sizes and CSS properties. Clicking on Info will give you additional information. In the pop-up here at the top, there are tools to play around with the font. Over here on the left, if the font were free, you would have a button that says, Download this font. Otherwise, if the font is not free, like in this example, you'll have a button that says, Buy this font. Amazon has a major problem with fake reviews on products sold on their website. FakeSpot analyzes the reviews on items to help protect you from fake reviews and bad sellers so you're more informed prior to purchasing any product. On any product page on Amazon, to the right of the description, you'll see a FakeSpot reviews analysis. According to this, using the A to F grading scale, the reviews for this product get an F grade. To find out why, click Analyze Reviews. This will open in a new tab with additional information. Let's scroll down. In the Overview section, it says, Our engine has profiled the reviewer patterns and has determined that there's high deception involved. While FakeSpot is not perfect, it just might help you to not buy a terrible product from Amazon ever again. Thanks for watching. Links are in the description. If this video is useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share with others. What is your favorite Chrome extension that you think we should mention in a future video? Let us know about it in the comments. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on our latest top 10s and other tech-related stuff here on Tech Gumbo.